For our last video in the series, what I want to do is I want to give you the opportunity to dress everything up that you might want. So first of all, the stage, you can um, add all kinds of different color opportunities to the stage. You can add multiple lanes, you can add more vehicles. Um, for the frog, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with the frog. For starters, right now, when he moves around, um, he doesn't <clears throat> he doesn't change the way he looks. He looks exactly the same everywhere he goes. So it would be really fun if you could um, into the script whenever you change the up arrow down arrow is that you could first of all add uh, a point in direction. So for instance when it goes um, left then it should face left and when it goes right then it should face right. However, um, you could also have completely different costumes for when it goes up and down. And all you need to do is just add new costumes in. So for instance, if I duplicate this, uh, and I'm going to call this, uh, this costume, I'm going to call it Frog Down. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on his eyeballs and his mouth. Uh, let's ungroup that. to fix this oh I see it's a whole continuous piece all right so in that case I'm just going to click on these spots right here take them away uh, and then I'll just fill this in uh, actually I'll just click on these spots and take them away part of the joy of vector graphics. So now this is him from the back view uh, and I can zoom in a little bit more and just click on the spots to say go away, go away, go away, uh, go away, go away, go away. And so this is just a, a quick way where I'm just trying to make it look like um, you're looking at him from behind. Okay, and so now here's my look from behind so that when he's going uh, either up or down um, that I can change that costume. So switch to costume frog down, switch to costume frog down. Um, and then otherwise I'm going to switch to the regular costume. So now when I run it, oh, and he went upside down. Okay, well, that's an easy fix. I can just go in here and choose side to side. There we go. So now his side to side works, up works, down works. Okay, so there's lots of different <laughs> possibilities. Now, when he gets to up and down, um, that's fine. Maybe he has a, a hat, a party hat that he puts on when he gets a level up uh, costume. Maybe there's a new costume for when he gets hit by a car. And uh, so maybe what we need to do is we need to duplicate this and we will call it uh, frog died. And uh, maybe we'll just add some uh, a big splotch. Oh, I didn't want that. So I'm just gonna just kind of be really silly here for a second and just add a big splotch all over them. Now you can add different colors, you can add different textures. Um, you can certainly go here and change these points so that they're, and you can add more points, uh, move them around. So, or you could just uh, convert it to a bitmap. And when you convert it to a bitmap, then you can come here with the brush and make whatever kind of squiggles you want. So that's an easy way to make the poor frog die. Um, and we only want that to show when it actually dies. So we will switch to costume frog died. And then when it comes back, uh, up arrow, down arrow, left and right. And also we will switch to costume 
uh, once it gets back to its starting point than where it's just the frog. Well, that did not work at all. Mm -hmm. So but go to our welcome screen and let's make sure that we switch uh, the frog to that costume. So when the green flag is clicked, we need to switch to frog. There we go. Okay. So he's going to go up here. He's going to die. And then when it comes back, oh, it didn't come back to life again. I must have something wrong here. Switch to costume frog. Well, let's just move it up a little bit and see how it does. All right. Well, there's something strange going on with that frog. I'll give you that. And somewhere down here, it's got the wrong. Oh, there we go. Now I use the arrows and it comes back. So just to give you some ideas, uh, you can add lots of different features to it. But I want to make sure that you know that uh, it should be somewhat fun and uh, a little bit silly in order to make people interested in it.